For the second half of this research assignment, I found the professional development in healthy and unhealthy districts, the top 10 characteristics based on research article by Rui Jane Pritchard and John C. Marshall. It caught my eye after looking into the characteristics of successful school systems found in the Ontario Leadership Framework. The research examines the professional development practices and school district philosophy in randomly selected urban, rural, and small town school districts across the United States. The study looked at how districts manage professional development with either local funds, grant awards, or money provided by the state. Each district PD approaches were analyzed in relation to the overall district's health. But what is district health? District health includes how well the district manages its daily operations, the quality of the school and district climate, the degree of commitment of teachers and administration to growth or change, the evidence of strategic planning, and the positive or negative attitudes of the students. After reading through all of the outcomes, their research suggests healthy districts can successfully incorporate more than one professional development model. They tend to make their PD fit their belief or vision that moves the district forward. Student achievement is the byproduct of the district's overall health. Healthy districts create cultures of pride and success. On the other hand, unhealthy districts see professional development as discrete activities. While individual schools might benefit from an innovation, others remained isolated. Some individual PD practices might be quite good, but they are not unified into a system of beliefs to improve teaching. They are vulnerable to external influences like changes in funding, pressure by state-mandated testing, or public opinion. In some cases, no traces of professional development remain in those districts. I chose this article because I was interested in what was considered a healthy and unhealthy school district. I was also interested in how each viewed professional development. My district often provides a lot of professional development, but it's not usually in a concise and consistent way. Sometimes I feel we have professional development on something that we never really end up using within our district. This article related to the Ontario Leadership Framework section on the characteristics of a successful school system because of its research on healthy and unhealthy school districts. The article also reflected on the positivity of students and staff helping advance leadership and enhance learning. I wish that I could test my school to see if it fell into the healthy or unhealthy category of a school system. I think it would shed light into what we need to work on in the future.